Does the PCIe generation of your graphics card matter? Gen 5 versus Gen 4 versus Gen 3? No, it doesn't. Thanks for watching. You can keep scrolling and share this video to someone who thinks it does. I have a 5090 paired with a 9800X3D at 4K and I tried the Cyberpunk benchmark with Gen 5, Gen 4, and Gen 3. You can change the PCIe generation in your BIOS. I did two runs for each, one at full max settings path tracing DLSS DLLA and another with DLSS quality. You can see the differences. Actually, Gen 3 has a more noticeable difference. You lose 2 FPS versus 1. Also, I did not film this, but I am talking about gaming. I don't care if you use your computer to calculate God. This was with a 5090. This means that everything under a 5090, which is basically every single consumer GPU, is gonna see less of a difference. So at least now you know. If you want me to try another game, just let me know. Not Minecraft, not League of Legends, not Fortnite, not Trust, and not Roblox. And in case you were wondering, the reason I didn't try this in 3D Mark is because in 3D Mark, I'm 100% sure you will see a difference. Difference. I didn't try it, but I know you will because 3D Mark, it's not a game. It's a benchmark. Anything you do will translate in performance gain or loss. And I guess I forgot to say that I have a small overclock on my 5090, 200 megahertz on the core clock and 2000 megahertz on the memory. So you don't have to freak out if you have a Gen 4 motherboard and you're about to buy a 50 series, which is Gen 5. It doesn't matter. I see so many guys trying to justify expensive motherboard purchases because of PCI generation. It doesn't matter. It only matters for SSDs and if you know that you need it for an SSD you should know what it's for and you should know when it will matter. I don't know what's with people trying to justify their purchases with the most bullshit excuses ever. You want an expensive motherboard because you think it looks nice? Just fucking buy it. Stop bullshitting yourself. It's not that serious. Let's do some history. This debate first started when 30 series Nvidia went from Gen 3 to Gen 4 at a time where the highest generation we had on motherboard was Gen 3. We had just gotten Gen 4 on AM4 with Ryzen 3000 and X570 and a bunch of people actually actually tried it and the verdict was that it didn't matter even for a 3090. So now you know that it still doesn't matter even for a 5090. However, if you think I made a mistake in the way I tested it, just let me know and I will do more tests.